On today's episode of MR Triton, we're going snorkeling. That was so cheesy. So as you would have just seen on today's episode of MR Triton, we are installing a snorkel. So we've gone and purchased ourselves a safari snorkel. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna drill a 12 centimeter wide hole in the side of my not quite so new anymore car and we're going to install a snorkel as always if you enjoy the content we make make sure you like share and make sure you leave a subscription behind after you view this lovely video today and stay tuned for the following few videos there's going to be a bull bar installation when arb hurry up and manufacture my bull bar and uh yeah stay tuned so like most men in our society i tend to not really follow the instructions but in this case i'm going to definitely follow the instructions to a T because if I drill a 12 centimeter hole in the side of my car in the wrong spot, I'm So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this instruction manual, make sure I've got all the steps covered off on before I actually commence the installation. Um, we've got to tape on the template, we've got to do some hole marking with the marker, we've got to drill some holes with a step drill bit, we're gonna insert some screws, we're gonna stick this snorkel on. Let's get stuck into it. So generally you would use some kind of masking tape to you know, stick the template onto the vehicle. It's a bit easier on your paint. Um, I don't have any masking tape, but I've got heaps of duct tape. So I'm just gonna duct tape it. If it leaves any residue, we'll just clean it up later on. I always cut my fingernails at the wrong time. So step four of the instructions is complete. We've applied the template. Step five is to drill the holes. Scary stuff. So according to the instructions, they want you to drill a 16 millimeter uh, diameter uh, mounting hole. Now, lucky thing with these drill bits, they've actually got, it steps down, they're fantastic. I use them for everything. But it's got the diameter of each of the steps. So 16 mil is just there. You know, third from the bottom, nice and useful. Dirt cheap from Bunnings, really sharp, really good to use. So these are the washers that you use on the inside of the guard to screw the snorkel on and hold it and prevent it from moving around. As you can see, the washer is way bigger than the hole. So if you do make it a little bit too big, I think you got a bit of room to move and a little bit of margin for error there as well. This is the scary bit. So we've got this attachment. We use this to apply the hole saw to the drill. This is a really sharp bit. So be careful with your fingers, but basically it goes inside as well. Drills a pilot hole. Now this is one of the most crucial things about the installation of the snorkel and the scariest part. Drilling the 121 millimeter hole in your panel here at the front. So I bought a nice brand new hole saw. Now I wouldn't necessarily want to use an old one, especially if you're cutting into the side of your car with it. You're gonna want something nice, strong, clean and sharp so it doesn't run around on you. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. We'll see whether the snorkel fits. That's the deciding moment. Looks good. If this had come off a 70 series Land Cruiser, I could probably sell it for about 2,000 bucks. All right, so we've drilled the holes, we've deburred, and we painted them to prevent corrosion. Now what we need to do is per step six, we wanna install the upper mounting bracket onto the snorkel itself and the stainless mounting studs.
So the instructions say that what you want to do is you want to drill through the A pillar and the inner pillar, a whole diameter of 6.5 millimeter. And then what you do is you only drill those same holes out in the A pillar to eight mil. So you want a small hole on the inside and a large hole on the outside. Now, I don't necessarily, I've got a bunch of drill bits, they're not in order. So I don't know which one is actually 6.5 mil. But what I've got is a step drill bit. And so what I'll do is I'll drill a hole all holes to six mil deep. Following that, I'll then drill it out to eight mil with the step bit and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so the holes in the A pillar are drilled, it's all lined up nicely so that that snorkel supporting bracket, mounting bracket, whatever you want to call it, sits nicely. I found that actually the drill bit, the step bit that I had was sufficient. Once the bracket's on there, make sure the door opens fully. No dramas. All right, so we now just need to discard the air intake duct because that is no longer usable. It's a lot of sand from Coffin Bay National Park when I nearly flooded my car, which happens to be the reason why I'm installing this snorkel. All right, so we're just gonna remove and discard this intake pipe as it's no longer required. So inside the airbox, there's just these little clips that you depress. It sounds so easy, but it's not. Oh my God. Oh. That was the hardest part. This whole installation is removing this. These tabs are so hard to get to. Now on the base of the airbox here, we've got a rubber drain plug. And what we need to do is we need to silicon that shut. That's the next step of this process. And as any plumber will tell you, your best friend when working with silicon is soapy water and a powder pop stick. I don't actually care too much if this looks a bit messy because a, it's not an aesthetic piece of the car. You don't need to look at it. You want to do a nice, you want to do a good job, but you know, I'd rather it look disgusting and work really well at stopping water from getting in my airbox. Alrighty, so while that airbox is drying, we need to install the new air pipe. So you can see the old air intake pipe and the new air intake pipe. So much greater volume of air will be going through this. So the instructions say squash it inwards and insert from the inside of the engine bay out. So it's gonna be a pain. With the hose, you got a small side and you got a large side. The small side is 80 mil, the large side is 90 mil. You've got 110 mil hose clamp and you've got 100 mil hose clamp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the large hose clamp on the outer side of the hose and the small hose clamp on the inner side of the hose. So as you can see, we've got a hose clamps installed to the new intake hose. What we need to do now is we need to put the air box back in, connect the air box to the new hose and hose clamp, and then we're gonna have to disconnect this mud guard here, put the snorkel on, clamp the snorkel tight, screw it all in, put the intake on top, we're good to go. All right, let's test out that. If you've ever cut yourself while working on your car, make sure you subscribe right now. There's the drill bit that went missing. So this is sort of the extent to which I've been able to get the body panel 
loose and I'm thinking I might just work with it as is that way I don't really pull it all apart that was easily the second worst part of doing this As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and especially subscribe. We have an exciting lineup of videos coming for you in the next couple of months. We've got an ARB bull bar installation coming up when ARB finish manufacturing my bull bar. But in the meantime, see you in the next one.